everyone! Welcome to our training in Quipper Students Portal. My name is Chelsea and I am here to help you understand on how to use and navigate your QLearn account. QLearn is one of the Quipper portals where students can access their lessons, such as study guides, video lessons, lesson slides, and answer assessment using their own devices. In this video tutorial, we will learn to log in using your student's account, update your profile, join your virtual class, learn using Quipper's study guides and video lessons, answer assignments sent by your teachers, communicate with your teachers using the messaging feature of Quipper, and lastly, we will learn the other parts and features of QLearn. Let's start this training by logging in to your student's account. This is how your student's account would look like. You may get your student account from your school's dedicated Quipper support officer and we will distribute your accounts through either of the following channels. During your school's student orientation, via email, or through your class advisors. In order to log in, open any of the following browser in your smartphone or computer. Using the search bar, type learn.quipper.com and click enter. Don't forget to write down your username and password that can be found in your student's account. And enter the account details in QLearn's login page. Then select login. Once done, you will be redirected to the home page of the student's portal. Our next agenda would be to update your profile. In order to do this, click on the profile icon in the navigation bar menu located in the upper right corner of your screen. Then click edit. It is highly recommended that you change your username and password. Please take note that your password should be a combination of letters and numbers. Also, don't forget to change your name grade level, email, and phone number to completely update your profile. Once done, click Save and type your old password to confirm the changes. Then click Next. Now that you've finished updating your profile, it's time for you to join your teacher's virtual class. Click on your profile located at the upper right corner of your screen. Click Class List and click enter class code. Use the class code provided by your teacher and then click submit. Once done, click the home page so you would see all active assignments that your teacher sent. For the next part of this video tutorial, we will learn how to access your lesson slides, quizzes, video lessons, and study guide. In the home page section, Select the assignment title and the topic you wish to access. This should redirect you to the assignment that your teacher sent to you. The topic pane contains the lesson slides and a standard 10-item quiz. Also, the learning view allows you to watch video lessons and read from your study guide. You may also access your study guides offline simply by clicking the download study guide below the video lesson. Doing this will redirect you to another tab where you can download your study guide in your own device. For the next part, let's learn how to answer assignments in QLearn. In the navigation bar menu, click To Do's. There are three types of To Do's. First is the Active To Do's. Next is the Overdue. And lastly, the completed to-dos. Active to-dos shows all active assignments and its deadline. Make sure to complete all assignments before its due date. The overdue section shows assignments that are past due. You may still answer these assignments but it's up to the teacher if they will record it or not. Lastly, the completed assignments shows all the coursework that you were able to finish. To start your assignment, click on the assignment title and the topic that you wish to answer in the active to-dos. 
In order for you to start answering your assignment, select Quiz in the Topic pane. Once done, click Finish Quiz to submit your work. The next part of the training would be how to communicate with your teacher. Using the messaging feature in QLearn, you may send a message to your teacher should you have any questions about your lessons or assignments. Remember that you may only message your teacher in Quipper and not with your classmates. To start sending message to your teacher, click on Messages in the navigation bar menu. Click on the message icon. Type the name of the teacher you wish to communicate with. Then write your message and click send. The last part of this video tutorial talks about other features of QLearn. The self-study feature of QLearn allows you to practice self-directed learning by reading study guide, watching video lessons, and answering assessments sent by your teacher. This feature is very helpful and can be used as a reviewer for major examinations such as long tests and periodical exam. To see topics that are under self-study, select course list in the navigation bar menu and select the subject you wish to learn. Once done, you may select from the list of topics available. You may also bookmark these topics by clicking add to my courses. The topic you bookmark can be seen in My Courses section of the Navigation Bar menu. These are the topics that you most often access and give priority in terms of studying. Should you forget your password, you may ask assistance from your teacher so she can reset your password for you. Just provide your complete name and username to your teacher. You may also message us in our official Facebook page in order for us to assist you. This ends our tutorial in QLearn. Should you have further questions or clarifications, you may reach us at our social media accounts. Thank you very much and have a great day!